Hey guys, it's Maya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be filming a what's on my iPhone video. And if this room kind of like looks dark, but then like my face looks super bright, it's because I have a ring light. So right here I have with me my iPhone 8. It is rose gold. This was my mom's phone for like two years-ish. And then I got it in seventh grade and I'm now in ninth grade. So this phone has lasted for about four years now. Anyways, I'm going to screen record my phone. So yeah, anyways, you guys can see right here. Okay, so basically it is already unlocked. Um, I don't think I had the option to show it locked, but basically here is my home screen. I just have a picture of a building and kind of like a Bible verse saying, you can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. And it is Sunday, July 10th. Anyways, we open here to my first page and my wallpaper says talk to God, which I think is very helpful and it reminds me every day. I have this widget here um, from my pictures and it's just like pictures of like memories, you know? Yeah, anyways. So the first app I have is Bible Gateway. I love Bible Gateway because it's just a Bible app that you can bring everywhere you go. The second app or group of apps I have are educational ones for languages and right here i have language lab from mcgraw hill it's part of my spanish book that i have but this app is like for every language book they have so like for example if i go into spanish they have all of the spanish notebooks and they have flashcards too so these are all the flashcards that i have done and stuff like that the second app i have is duolingo and this is also where i learned my spanish I haven't really been doing it in a while. I think it's been like two months since I touched this. But when I'm bored, I do use Duolingo because like, you know, <laughs> they're all broken. <laughs> Anyways, next I have Chinese Pod. This is a podcast where you can learn Chinese, except I have not touched this in a while. Anyways, the third group is music. And so I have Apple Music, which literally has nothing on here. I don't use Apple Music. And I have Spotify, which I do use quite often. So I have a bunch of different playlists that I made and you can follow me on my alignment right here. Next group, I have Tuner. Okay, so I have a question mark for this group because I really don't know what this group is called. I have a music tuner here so I can tune my flute and my ukulele. And I have my Hamilton app here. You know, it just has all the Hamilton stickers, which I haven't used at all. Some of these apps I just haven't used, but I just keep them there because I feel like it's still kind of important, you know? Here I have my health thingy, except I don't really use this, so not that important. I have Workout Woman. It's like this workout app. Again, I haven't used that. I just have been running at the gym. I have Uber Eats and Uber. And then this is a ukulele app where I learned how to play ukulele and I have Disney Plus. Next page, I have Merriam-Webster as my widget and this group is like my language group. Right now my main languages that I'm learning are Spanish and Chinese, but these ones are like Korean, Hebrew, another Hebrew app, French, and then SAT flashcards and vocabulary words. I just think it's helpful and I just do this when I'm bored because like, yeah. And then I have settings here. Here are the games that I have. Okay guys, don't don't judge me because Miriam Webster is on my games group. It's because they have like games on like random facts and stuff, okay? Okay. I also have charades, garage band, pizza, making game, and chess. I sound really boring right now, but like usually for my free time, I just learn language is kind of. I have my clock right here. I have Google Translate here because that is super helpful because when you live in Taiwan, it's hard to get around some places. And then I have this group, which is all of my school stuff. So I have Google Classroom, Google Drive, Google Docs, files. I don't use files. I don't really know why I have it. This group, I don't know why I have that emoji. So I have the weather right here. I have Plume Labs, which is like the weather app, except it tells you when the air is good. There's just some air pollution sometimes and like sometimes it's not a good idea to go outside at certain times. Anyways, I have notes here, calendar, safari, my calculator, and reminders. 
So for my reminders, I have like my kind of spiritual reminders, schoolwork, lessons, appointments, health, YouTube reminders, other. Right now I don't really have anything. Then I have the app store and here is my Pinterest widget. I don't have widget smith. I just have like widgets that the phone has already provided for me. So for example, this Pinterest one is from Pinterest and it just updates and changes the picture like hourly. And then this is my second to last page. And here I have a Pinterest photo that says pray. I actually have a whole section of just Bible verses and Bible reminders and stuff like that. Anyways, here I have my measure app and right here, you know, and I have my compass, which I don't even use. Here I have my maps. I have Google Maps. I have Life360, which is like, it's more for my parents so that they know where I am. I have this MRT app so I know which subway stops are where. I also have Tor Browser, which is like this off the hook website search engine. And I also have TuneIn Radio, which is, I think it's like a radio pod, cast thing where you can listen to news everywhere something like that honestly i don't know i have find my iphone here and then here is my social media i have three just purple hearts on there if you can tell i like using emojis a lot so i have instagram right here and yeah so this is my account my phone doesn't have wi-fi right now because i'm in my room and my room doesn't have wi-fi because i don't know why just can't reach my room so yeah i have just a lot of stuff here, random stuff that they post. So make sure to go follow me on Instagram. Next, I have Pinterest here. Also, you can follow me on Pinterest here too. It's right here. I don't have Wi-Fi, so it can't really load right now. And then I have Pick Collage right here. I have Tasty, which is a food app, YouTube. Um, I don't think this is gonna, I don't think this is gonna load, but like, it's not gonna load, sorry guys. Um, I have YouTube Studios right here. I also have Snapchat right here. And yeah. Finally, my last page are all just widgets. So I have my calendar widget, I have another Pinterest food widget. I don't know why I put food. I just couldn't think of anything else. I have reminder widget and weather widget. I just reorganized it, I thought it was really cool. And look, the hour changed, so look at this, that widget changed too. Below here are the normal apps that I use, which is iMessages, Line. Line is, is a communication app that we use in Taiwan very frequently. It's like a WeChat, basically. Here I have my Google Meets, Contacts, Mail, iPhone, FaceTime, Bitmoji, Google Chat, and Gmail. And finally, I have my photos right here all my photos stuff that randoms oh uh, yeah random stuff that i have here and my camera which is right here and foodie which is another camera app that uses a lot of filters so this was before i had snapchat and i have voice memos here just a lot of random voice recordings especially from choir and i have eye clips where I filmed my first vlogs, but I never posted them because like they were really sucky, but yeah. Anyways, that is my what's on my iPhone. Basically everything's the same. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe too. So I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.